Hey everyone, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a cute cartoon pug. So we're going to start with the muzzle. We're going to draw almost like a wide egg shape. Starting from the top, we're going to curve around to the side, and then down towards the bottom. We're going to go in the opposite direction now, starting from the top again, just going out to the side, and then blending in along the bottom. Like so. From here, let's go ahead and tuck in a nose. So at the top, on the left side, we're just going to curve down towards the middle, and then we're going to curve back up towards the top. Let's go ahead and color the nose in black. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the mouth. So in the center here, just below the nose, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to curve out towards the right, and then from that same point, we're going to curve out towards the left. Down below here, let's give him a little double chin. So we're just going to draw a little curve that goes across like that. From this point, let's go ahead and layer in the eyes. So just on either side of the nose, we're going to draw a curve. One on the left, going across like that, and then one on the right, curving down. Let's go ahead and tuck in the bottoms of the eye. So on either side, we're just going to leave a little overlap and just create a curve coming down towards the muzzle and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So coming down and then back up. We're going to put the eyeball sort of pointing outwards this way. So we're going to tuck in a smaller half circle along the top of the brow. So stepping over from the inside of the eye, we're going to curve around, down to the bottom, and then tuck that in on the top. Do the same thing on the right side. So stepping over towards the right, curving down, and then over towards the right side. Let's draw a little highlight circle along the top. So up here, we're just going to tuck in a half circle. And on the right, we'll draw a full, small circle. Let's color the eyes in black. From this point, let's just draw a little trim around the eyes. So on the outside of the left eye, we're going to start down by the muzzle, curving around the eye and back up, and then we're going to pull this down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So below the right eye here, Beside the muzzle, we're going to curve up, above the eye, and then we're going to pull this down. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve, almost like a U shape. Going down in the middle, then back up on the right. In the center here, we're just going to draw a little wrinkle. So we're just going to draw a little curve that goes across like that. Above the eyes, we just want to draw a couple curves for more wrinkling. So up here, we're just going to draw a curve that comes in towards the middle. And then on the right, we'll do the same thing. Just above here, we want to draw the top of the head. So from left to right, we're just going to draw a little curve that goes across like that. Let's layer in some ears. So on the left side here, we're just going to curve out and up towards the left. Now we're going to pull the ear down so it's flopped over the head. So from here, we're going to curve down. Now we're going to pull this back up and tuck that underneath. So right up here, just pulling that up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So from this point, we're going to curve out towards the right. And then we're going to curl around. So curving down to the same height we have on the left. Then we're going to pull that back up, coming back up like that. Now let's go ahead and draw on the big cheeks. So just below each ear, right here on the left, we're going to curve just beside the lower muzzle. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving out and then just pulling that in. Let's do another layer of wrinkles. So we're going to step out to the left, curve in. On the right, we'll curve in. From here, I'm going to have the body sort of pointing over towards the left a little bit. So right on this side here, we're going to draw the outside of the left arm. So just underneath this wrinkle, I'm going to curve in. I'm going to curve the front of the leg. So up here, I'm going to do a little overlap, curving down. Now we want to draw on the paw. So we're going to do an overlap and just draw almost like a sideways oval, going out towards the left and then coming back in like that. Let's draw a few little paw separation lines. So just two curves that go across like that. On the right side, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So right here, we're going to curve in. Now we're going to draw the top under part of the arms so coming down. Now we're going to draw on the paw. So doing an overlap, curving around, and then pulling that in towards the back of the leg. And then we'll just draw two little curves for the paws. Now on this side, I'm going to have this leg sort of sitting on top of the body, but the body sitting on top of this leg here. So from this point of the foot, we're going to curve up. Now we're going to do a little curve this way for the belly. So right up here, it's just going to curve across like that. This point right here, we're just going to tuck it in underneath the belly, just like so. And then we're going to draw a little curve along the bottom for the lower torso.
just going across like that. Up here, let's draw the sides of the leg. So right along the side of the leg here, I'm going to curve down, leaving a little gap at the bottom. On the right, we'll do the same thing, so curving down. And we're going to tuck in the little feet at the back, so stepping up, curving around, and then back in. We're going to draw two little curves for the paws. And then on the right, we'll do the same thing, so curving out, pulling that back in, and then two little curves coming out. Now with the mouth, I might want to just curl these up just a little bit, just to make it look a little bit friendlier. So curving around like so. We'll give a little bottom lip down here, so just a little curve in between the mouth. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's our cute little cartoon pug. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.